you must understand that the cycles in between the minimums, the grand solar minimums, are between 300 and 400 years. That's when we get our solar maximums. It builds up to the solar maximums. Okay. Conclusions. In this brief article, I have demonstrated that the recent progress with understanding a role of the solar background magnetic field in defining solar activity and with quantifying the observed magnet magnitudes of magnetic field at different times allowed us to enable reliable long-term predictions of the solar activity in the millennium timescale. This approach revealed a presence of not only 11-year solar cycles, but also of the grand solar cycles with durations of 350 to 400 years. We demonstrated that this grand cycles are formed by the interferences of two magnetic waves with close but not equal frequencies produced by the double solar dynamo. Action at different depths of the solar interior, these grand cycles are always separated by grand solar minimum of maunder type or maunder minimum type, which regularly occurred in the past forming well-known maunder, wolf, oort, homeric, and other grand minimums. Minima. During these grand solar minima, there is a significant reduction of solar magnetic field and solar irradiance, which impose a reduction of the terrestrial temperatures derived for these periods from the analysis of terrestrial biomass during the past 12,000 or more years. The most recent grand solar minimum occurred during modern minimum, which led to reduction of solar irradiance by 0.22% from the modern one and a decrease of the average terrestrial temperature of 1 to 1 1.5 degrees Celsius. This discovery of the double Dynamo action in the sun brought us a timely warning about the upcoming Grand Solar Minimum 1 when solar magnetic field and its magnetic activity will be reduced by 70%. This period is started in the sun in 2020 and will last to 2053. Uh, during this modern Grand Solar Minimum, one would expect to see a reduction of the average terrestrial temperature by up to 1 degree Celsius, especially during the periods of the solar minimum between cycles 25 through 26 and 26 through 27 in the decade 2031 and 2043. Okay, those are gonna be our coldest years, okay? The reduction of a terrestrial temperature during the next 30 years can, be, can have an important implications for different parts of the planet on growing vegetation, agriculture, agriculture, food supplies, and heating needs in both Northern and Southern Hemisphere. What you have to understand is right at the middle of this whole minimum, we may have a summer with no with no growing season. So we're going to have to start using microgreens that grow much quicker and they will sustain us through this, okay? Our government isn't going to tell us. What they're going to do is they're going to stockpile all the underground bunkers we know that are there because we've seen the truckers driving supplies in and driving out without them. So that's what's going on. If you guys are questioning what's going on in all those underground structures that we know our government has, this is what's occurring. They're getting ready for this minimum. And they're going to tell you it's all global warming. And they're going to have people moving up north in their shorts and their flip-flops thinking that there's going to be a run runaway global warming scenario. And this is the push for all these small modular nuclear reactors. So they can place them in places that they don't normally fit a large scale nuclear reactor. Okay. They're not going to tell you this stuff, guys. The media is ignorant on this whole thing. And these are the references. Okay. So this is very important. Um, I hope I taught you something, which I'm sure I did. I thank Valentina Zarkova for being brave enough to bring this out to the population, even under attacks from scientists. But she got a 97% accuracy rating on her published paper, as where none of them can say the same. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.